Hey Spintronics fans. Today, we're going to infinity and beyond. Okay, that was cheesy. But really, I'm gonna teach you a swing flag move called infinities. I'm gonna begin with my flag in the downward right angle. I'm gonna take my flag up, across my body. I'm coming out of my toaster to do this and up to this left angle. So, this is count one, two, you bring it down. From here, you're gonna go across again, coming out of the toaster. Three is the upward angle. Four is back down to the starting position. So, one, two, three, four. The reason these are called infinities is because if you watch the trace of my flag, it's making an infinity sign in the air. Infinity is just kind of like an eight laying down on its side, pretty much. Now, if you really want to enhance these infinities, you can add your free arm and follow the flag. Or you can also add some body underneath it and give you that higher vocabulary score by putting a lunge in. If you want to do this as a two flag technique, it's kind of the same here as doing it with one flag and your free arm. You can have them follow. But look at how my outer hand is opening more than my inner hand. So, when I do this first one, the left hand is going all the way back to being in the toaster. The right hand is just going to that front corner. One, they both come down two. Left hand is straight out to the side. Right hand is to the front 45. Three, they sort of switch. The right hand is now straight out to the side. The left hand is to the front 45. Four. This way, you don't get your flags tangled as you're doing your infinities with two hands. Guys, I think infinities are so pretty. I think swing flags in general are so pretty. I just absolutely love to see them on the field. I love to see this huge burst of color and they're not very difficult. So you can have all of your vets and your rookies and everybody on swing flags and achieving the, the choreography pretty easily. You can also pay a lot of attention to details with these because you can really incorporate your lower body. You can really incorporate a free arm if you're only using one flag or if you have both flags in one hand. And you can really incorporate so much with your facial expression and character whenever you're using swing flags. So I hope you enjoyed this enough to share it with your friends. Um, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow with another cool thing to do in color.